Earlier this month, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed AB 418, known as the California Food Safety Act, into law. Now, this historic legislation bans the food products that contain four additives currently found in about 12,000 candies, cereals, and also sodas. It's also known as the Skittles ban. So what does this ban really mean for U.S. pantry staples, especially during this Halloween season? Joining me now with more is Christina Marusik, the author of this book, A New War on Cancer. She's a journalist at Environmental Health Sciences as well. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Well, so for a lot of people, this is going to kind of be a surprise. Uh, explain, what is the Skittles ban? What is this going to mean for consumers? The Skittles ban is not actually a ban on Skittles. That's kind of a misnomer. Um, and bizarrely, Skittles actually don't contain any of the ingredients mm. that are being banned in this new California law. Um, a earlier version of the bill included uh, titanium dioxide, which Skittles do contain, which is how it got the name, but that was removed from the bill that ended up passing. And Skittles are actually already free of red dye number three, um, which this ban does include, but Skittles removed that from their formula several years ago. So these additives are found in lots of other foods, including candy and cereal and soda and bread Bread, but the law doesn't actually take place take effect until 2027 okay. so companies have plenty of time to update their recipes to comply with the new law okay so but as I said this has to be unsettling for some consumers um, you know red dye uh, you go back years ago and it was an issue back then um, you know it's ironic you said Skittles doesn't contain any of this stuff anymore you wonder about other candies what are some of the more common things, food items that people at home will be able to identify with that are watching you right now. What do you want them to know about? Give me some specifics. Yeah, so some of the ingredients that are, are getting banned include um, brominated vegetable oil. That's something that's in um, soda pretty commonly, um, especially fruit flavored sodas tend to contain this ingredient. And that's linked to, you know, irritation of the skin and our mucous membranes in our nose and our throats and our lungs. Uh, long term exposure, exposure to brominated vegetable oil is linked to neurological problems, including headaches, memory loss, problems with balance. Hmm. Um, potassium bromate is another one that's getting banned. That one's often found in bread and bagels and pastries that you buy from the grocery store. And potassium bromate is another lung irritant. It can cause respiratory problems. And long-term exposure to that one is linked to nervous system problems, headaches, irritability, even personality changes. Okay, Christina, um, this is yes. frightening. Okay, so you are <laughs> studying on this. You know, for the first time, for a lot of people, they're hearing this. What do you want them yeah. to know? What's the best thing to do so that we can then look at some of the food products that we are eating and make our own decisions about whether or not we, we are going to continue to consume these things? I mean, bagels? Hello. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so there's a long list of... of of chemicals and food additives particularly that are um, linked to health harms that are still found in foods in the United States that have already been banned in the European Union. So that might be a good place to start is looking at some of the food additives that have been banned elsewhere and trying to shop for foods that are free of those. Um, California's law is good news. It's unlikely that consumers won't be able to buy any of these products um, because as I said, it doesn't go into effect for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, it likely all it means for consumers is that we'll have access to foods that are free from these harmful ingredients and a little bit healthy for us okay. overall. Well, that is good news. Very fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and, and clearing this all out for us. We're all going to think twice now when we consume just about anything. Appreciate your time, Christina. Take care. Thanks so much for having me.